Pa 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 All right, boys and girls, welcome back to another riveting episode of Advanced Automotive. This truck might look familiar to you because it is mine. Now, some of you might know I've been battling an issue with the oil pressure sending unit, not receiving any feedback. Uh, there's a screen that is below the pressure sending unit that uh, I need to get out and need to clean. Unfortunately, it is buried way back below the furthest dark area there. If anybody's watched Lion King, you know you're never supposed to go into the dark area. But uh, today we have to. So let's get it pulled out. All right, a quick few basic tools that I need for this job. Now, first off, I've removed the big Vortec plastic covering, cowling that went over the top of there. And I have got my basic hand tools that I need. First off is an inch and sixteenth socket, a half inch U-joint, a six to eight inch extension, and a half inch ratchet. Now a half inch size obviously is way overkill, however, they only sell inch and a sixteenth commonly in half inch drive. So now, jeez, almost lost it. Now the time is to uh, go fit this on the oil pressure sending unit way down below and I will unscrew it and pull everything out. All right, believe it or not, that is the oil pressure sending unit. So the way that this works is it sits right inside the intake just like that. It has an electrical connection that plugs in there and then the oil pressure actually forces itself against here. It reads millivoltage according to how much this little plunger inside here gets pushed up inside of the sensor. Now the issue with these LC9 5.3 liters uh, that were common in the 2008 through 2012 uh, GM pickup trucks is you guys can see that little particulate that's built up on this screen. So there is junk that gets picked up on the screen and the oil also creates a little bit of a uh, film over the top of that. So what I'll do here is I will take some carburetor cleaner, spray it out from the inside. You don't want to spray and force this stuff into the screen. We're going to push it all out of it. So we're going to get this all cleaned up pretty and throw it back in and see if we get any oil pressure back. Waking up and no all right now as you can see i got this all cleaned up all nice and perte in that beaut i also went ahead and i sprayed out the inside of this too just in case there was any contaminants inside of there so now it's time to do it all in reverse i gotta drop this down into the hole and then go ahead and thread this in use the uh non ugga dugga wrench and uh, snug it up tight. Then we'll go ahead and fire up the truck and see if we got oil pressure back. All right, time to see what we got. And, huh, whoop, ta-da! Yes, sir. Beautiful. 